everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a little beauty haul for you. Um, I just have a few things that I've picked up pretty recently. I did not by any means get all this at the same time. Um, I just kind of have done a little shopping here and there in between going to both of my jobs. Um, and like I said in my last video, if you did watch that, I do apologize that I haven't been posting a whole lot. But I am working two jobs and it's just like crazy, crazy busy schedule all the time. So I do apologize about that. But I'm not going to make this a long intro, we're just going to get right into the video. And also, I just want to show you guys, I am in love with my nails right now. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram, and I just, oh, I can't get over them. They're so amazing. I wish I could remember what this color was. I know it's an OPI color, um, but I'll have to go back to the salon to figure out what it was. The first item I want to show you guys that I picked up, and I've been wanting to try this because a few of the other beauty people here on YouTube have tried it and said that it's really good, so I figured why not. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free makeup and this is the foundation. Um, I did get it in Classic Ivory 10 which I was trying to kind of match the shade to my Revlon Nearly Naked foundation um, but if you guys can see the Nearly Naked is more of a pink undertone and this one's more of a yellow and unfortunately this is not a good color for me even though this is the I believe this is actually the lightest shade that they have. Um, it's a, still kind of dark for me and I noticed after wearing it um, for like maybe five hours that I start to get these like yellow patches on my skin so I'm pretty sure that it could be drying my skin out a little too much because it does have salicylic acid in it um, so I may have to shelf this for a little while I might come back to it but I'm not like that happy with it so moving along for Walmart I also picked up this quad from the flower collection which is Drew Barrymore's collection and the colors just look like this I think they're a gorgeous and sorry about that glare but I just thought these colors were super pretty and this is in the shade, what is this? Secret Garden. So there is a really, really pretty, like, lighter green color. Um, this is more of a nude pink color. This one is a very, like, dark green blue. And then this, of course, is more of, like, a purpley pink. And I absolutely love all of them. I'm actually wearing um, these two top colors on my lids today. Yeah, on my lids today. Um, and I just really like it. And I love the fact that it's a magnetic closure. And it's pretty cheap, so I really like that. And then I also picked up a lipstick, which just looks like this, and I absolutely adore the packaging. Like, I, I really love the collection, period, but their packaging is just to die for. So this lipstick just looks like this. It is a really nice, like, dusty rose color. And this one is called Tea Rose, so that's a pretty good shade. And I'll just go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So it just looks like that. Again, a really, really nice kind of like mauve dusty rose color. And I think it'll be really good for spring because I'm not too into super bright lips. So I think it'll work out pretty well. Along with the drugstore, I actually got some nail polish from ah, Ulta. And I went a little crazy with the nail polish. I have not purchased any nail polish in so long so I went ahead and treated myself a little bit and I did Instagram a photo of these if you guys want to see more of like a up close but I got a couple from the Spider-Man collection um, and this is supposed to be like the Emma Stone Gwen Stacy collection so this one is just a really like red shimmery color it has a lot of nice gold and red shimmers in it this next one is like an orange and now I don't know if this is called a duotone because when you turn it in the light it does change the tint of the color. Like this one here it turns to like green to purple to blue. So I really really like that and the shimmers are really really fine. Very nice. And then of course I did get the kind of burnt orange one as well. And the red one is called Spidey Sense. The blue one is Super Powered. And the orange one is Electrified Web. So those are really nice. And then I got two kind of like basic ones. This is Trendy. And I'm just absolutely loving this color. I have a ton of nail polish that are like in the same color family. But I don't have a specific one that's this particular color. So I thought I'd go ahead and get that. And I'm actually going to put that on my nails next, I'm pretty sure. And then I also got one from the Marquesa collection. And this is Grace Suede. Now this one is very pretty and I did have it on my nails um, right before I put this like lilac color on. I do like it. Um, and in the bottle there is like a very nice kind of light shimmer sheen to it that's kind of in a lavender tone and I wish that that would show up more in the polish but honestly when you put it on it does just look like a nude and then oh my gosh my favorite stuff so I got I've picked up a few things from MAC recently um I got one order in the mail and then I did go to the store to pick some stuff up so I'll just go ahead and show you um 
one of the things that I got. I haven't even taken the plastic off of it yet, but I did finally get my large pro palette, which I was so excited about, and I was so happy that how cheap it was. Like, this was $8, um, which I was super excited for, like I said. Um, and then I'll show you the colors I have inside here, because two of these are, yeah, two of these are the ones that I, I did, per no, three of these. So this one right here, this purple shade is Shadowy Lady. So this is Shadowy Lady. This is one of the ones I got online recently. This, I believe, is Orb. Yeah, this is Orb. Got that as well. This is more of like a peachy nude color. And then this, which I was so excited about. You all probably already know this. This is All That Glitters. And I've always, like, everybody's always raved about All That Glitters. And I've always wondered what it looked like. And I just never looked at it before. But, oh, it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's not going to show up too well on camera. But honestly, when you put it, like, lay it over different shadows, it is to die for. And then I really am loving Shadowy Lady. I wore it on my lids this weekend. And it's a super, like, buildable color. Like, a dark buildable, but then it's also very blendable. So, really, really loving that. And my MAC Pro palette, I'm just so excited to have it in general because I've always wanted one. I just always thought they were so expensive, but they're not. The only thing that I was really irritated with is when I called to ask, I just wanted to double check because I wasn't sure. I asked the lady um, over the phone, I was like, hey, the pro palette, can I just put the pans in there? Is it already you know, magnetic or am I going to need the, um, what, what is this called? The eyeshadow, like the insert for it. And she's like, no, you're going to have to get the insert because the palette itself is not magnetized. Stupid woman. So I ended up buying this, which is fine because it was only $2, thankfully. But and again, like, these prices were to die for. Anyway, so I did get the insert for it. Um, I'm probably not going to use it, to be honest, because I actually prefer to have them just kind of loose in the palette. I feel like, I don't know, I, I can move them around whenever I want to and it's not a problem. So next, I did get two lipsticks recently. Um, the first one is Sweetie. And I actually, this one was an exchange for one that I got um, in the mail. What was it? I don't even remember. But I liked it, but it was too too way too pink for me so I went ahead and I got this one instead which again this does look pink but it is not as pink as um the other one was so there's that and again this one's sweetie so it's very very pretty kind of like pink kind of rose tone but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it and this I believe is a satin no this is a luster yeah so that's a luster and then I also got hot gossip which I am obsessed with this one I really really love it and it looks like this. It's just another kind of dusty pink color. I'm super obsessed with like the dusty rose colors right now. Um, but this one is, what is this? This is in a cream sheen. So this one doesn't have um, any shimmer to it. And it is a bit darker. So yeah, you can definitely tell like the contrast between the two colors. And I'm super obsessed. I absolutely love them. I've been wearing them on my lips ever since I got them. But then my holy grail of like the last, I think this is the last beauty. Yeah, this is the last beauty product I wanted to show you guys. We just need to take a second because I literally almost died when I got this. So I did Instagram a picture. You guys may already know what I'm about to talk about. But I got a Chanel lipstick. I mean... Okay, hold it, pull it together. So this is one of the Velvet Lipsticks, and it is number 36. I'm not even going to try and butcher the name. It's like La Kelleen or something like that, but I don't even know. It's number 36 if you guys are interested. So this is what the package looks like, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It has the little C's here, but it's really cute because you press it, and then you can open it. So I really like it. I thought it was very, very pretty. And again, it is another kind of dusty rose tone color. Um, it reminds me a lot of my grandma because it just reminds me of a color that she would probably wear or used to wear when she was younger. So there it is. Oh, I love it. It kind of like reminds me, I think it's like a pinky brown tone. So I really like it. It's This is like the top shade type of shade of color that I prefer to wear um, because I'm not too big on like the pinks and whatnot but like a dusty kind of brownie rose like that is very nice and I feel like well I feel like personally it complements my skin tone and all that jazz oh so now I'm all swatched up and yeah but anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video and again I'm so sorry I haven't been posting videos but I am trying to get some up for you guys so I hope you do appreciate this one um, and I hope that this makes you want to go shopping because it's making me want to go do more shopping but I'm just going to sit around and watch more of you guys' haul videos to sedate myself. But I thank you guys again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And welcome to my new subscribers. I've seen I got a few new subscribers. So hello, welcome. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.